are here with award-winning actor Skylin Brooks. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Well, we are so excited to get to chat with you about your new movie. You are starring in the upcoming action thriller Arch Enemy. What can you tell me about the film and what can you tell me about your character? Well, the uh, film follows uh, Joe Mangiello playing uh, Max Fist. Max Fist is a superhero from a different dimension, mm -hmm. kind of parallel to uh, a little bit how Superman is in a sense. And um, he falls to earth from a different dimension and he loses his powers and he has to kind of scramble and pick up the pieces. And uh, my character named Hamster kind of comes in. He's a young storyteller and he really wants to um, get out there and tell stories to the world. And he finds this guy who's a bum who talks about he's from a different dimension and he kind of has this weird affinity. He's drawn to him and he wants to tell his story and somehow make it big. So that's how they come together. And do you have any similarities to this character in real life? I think his drive. I think okay. I think his, his motivation to kind of like be fearless in telling the story. I kind of feel like that's kind of how I look at acting in a sense where it's like you kind of want to tell the story and you go to whatever length, you know, to go tell it. Definitely understand that. And if you could play any other character in the film, is there another role that you would have taken on? Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's a great question. I've never thought of that. Maybe Max Fist would have been kind of cool to play. Yeah. This is really random. And I think I'm just kind of like messing with like <laughs> my own head on this one. But there is a character in there that's kind of like a psychopath. He's very obscure. He's he's just wild. But I think it would have been interesting to kind of like see myself transform into that character. That would have been cool. Absolutely. I think that would have been a very cool role to take on. Definitely would have pushed your artistic abilities as an actor. You have a couple of amazing works under your belt. So many. You've been in The Darkest Minds, Netflix's The Get Down, and so many other incredible pieces. What has been your favorite project thus far? Why you gotta ask me that question? That's a. <laughs> We're really putting you on tough, the spot. <laughs> ah, that's that's a tough one. Um, I mean, I enjoyed everything. I, I've enjoyed everything I've ever done. I enjoyed the experiences with the cast and like the productions all throughout. So I mean, I think because I spent the most amount of time on it, I would say the get down. It was the longest and it was the funniest. I would say the most the 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 funniest time I think I've had on set where I can like remember. Right uh you know hanging out with the cast beyond said and i had more time to build like a family type relationship with everybody so yeah I, I would say that was the that was a lot of fun and building a family type relationship with the cast and all the other amazing cast members that you have had an opportunity to work with jake gyllenhaal yeah. jennifer hudson who has been your favorite co-star to work with dang that's a that's a hard <laughs> question we're just putting you on the spot today. I see you get to the meat of the question. Um, <laughs> ah, wow. I, you know, the funny thing is I've learned, and those are like some heavy hitters. Those are people who've like had, who's been in the industry for a long time. I would say I've learned a lot of things from everybody. Um, mm -hmm. So to kind of single it out would kind of be difficult, but I would say I would have to go. I, I, you know what? Actually, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. Do you want to give a top three? Top three? Top three. Uh, top three. Um, Honestly, you have such an amazing list of co-stars and an amazing list of projects. I can understand why this would be extremely hard to pick from gold and gold, but. <laughs> honestly, yeah, it's like, it's just like, ah. Um, okay. J Jennifer Hudson, I have to say. Anthony Mackie, who's just recently, I believe, is official, I think, became Captain America. After, yeah. after Endgame, I admire his, the way he attacks his roles. I mean, like mm -hmm. he, he goes into depth. It inspired me, especially from since I work with him. They were both on the same film. I definitely enjoyed watching them transform into their characters, which is definitely admirable. And I, that definitely pushed me to go harder. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal is also a great example of that because he takes, especially in Nightcrawler. I don't know if you've ever seen Nightcrawler, but yeah. like, he goes all the way. He doesn't back down. Like, yeah, he's 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 definitely up there with with the best. So I mean, it's hard for me to single out the top three. But you I mean you you said you said top threes. You did name three. So everyone else that you didn't name, I'm gonna go ahead and call up and tell them that you didn't pick. No, I'm kidding. Oh <laughs> but, brother. Oh brother. 
I'm kidding. I don't have those people on speed dial. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to our next question after we just put you on the hot burner for that one. Oh, honestly, yeah. What kind of character is your dream role to one day play? If you could be casted as any type of character. <sighs> Man, I really want to play a superhero I mean, I've heard there are things in the works like Static Shock and like eventually we'll get to Miles Morales, which would be an honor to to to, to go for that. I mean, um, on those scales, anything that's like, you know, a superhero that means something, you know, like yeah. their, their, their story can affect and everybody can relate, you know, regardless. That's really what I want to do. Um, and whether that's in like, because uh, I know there are type of, there are superheroes that like heavily depend on like comedy or right. like drama, which is like Deadpool, if you're going all the way. Yeah. Or, and, and then there are, there are also superheroes who don't necessarily have powers. They're kind right. of like, There's a yeah, you know, like- What kind of movie superhero you want to take on. But I get what you're yeah. saying. Umbrella category of having a superhero role, I think would be awesome. I mean, right now your it's role, good. you play just an average local teen alongside a superhero, but it would be cool to take on the role of superhero. Definitely. It would be dope. That'd be like a dream, man, for sure. Aside from acting, you also make music. You are currently working on your latest album. How did you get started into making music? Well, ever since I was young, um, I kind of been in and out of music. Uh, I never really took it seriously um, until maybe when I would turn like 17. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I actually want to create my own little thing, my own style. Um, and then I started taking it seriously. And then with this EP that I'm like, it's kind of like a, like a mixture of sounds that are like over the years have really caught my, my attention, like um, jazz yeah. and hip hop and kind of fusing the two together into, you know, my own little style, I guess. But with this EP, it's a mixture of like hip hop and jazz, a West Coast kind of feel. Then through that, my next project after that will be like pretty out there. I, 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 I want to say I kind of want to go from the mold, break from the mold. But right. this project will be out, I want to say around the end of this month, basically. And then it's, uh, you guys can listen to it. Well, I'm sure we're all so excited to get to see what amazing project you put out. It sounds like it's going to be some incredible music. So I'm excited to see. If you could collaborate with any music artist, who would you pick? Why these questions, man? These questions. <laughs> Oh. Did you um, think I was gonna come on here and be like, "Hey, Skyline, what's your favorite color?" <laughs> you never know. You never know. That's the funny thing. You know, you just don't know. Um, you gotta suffer both. <laughs> I I was ready for that question too. If you ask me, it's blue, by the way. Um, okay, we'll go ahead and we'll put that in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have. Th there's a lot. Um, but there are some good independent artists too that okay. aren't mainstream. But if I had to say mainstream, I say uh, J Cole, Kendrick group on Kendrick anyways. Pharrell, some independent artists that I would like to collab with would be like Blast, Odyssey. Also, this is a throwaway. I wanted to do this for years. I don't want to say a throwaway. That's that's a lie. It's more so like an honorable mention because I haven't heard her in a long time, but Hiatus Coyote. I don't know if anyone's heard of her. Check her out. She's Hello. great. Um, Hiatus Coyote, those, those are people I've listened to for quite a long time and have influenced me a lot. So those there's so many more though there's so many more it feels like a cop out of like god like what do i say this is listen this is just like the very short list yeah Everyone this is the out short there list. Listening, if he could collaborate with you all he would collaborate with you all but this Man. is just his his top how many did we name like five or six maybe oh, about five or six yeah five or six yeah this is just his top five or six we're, we're not canceling any other music artists <laughs> out of your out of your realm i know there's a lot to choose from there's a lot well we always like to end the interview with three fun questions but one of which still pertains to music what's your favorite song <laughs> i have like you want to give a top three or a top I, five or six? I, let's go top three and these are probably because I can relate in some way, form, or fashion. And these are just okay. staples, period. So I would say J. Cole intro from his mm -hmm. Forest Hills album. Um, Kendrick Lamar from Good Kid, Mad City. I think the song is called Good Kid. Ah! <laughs> you want to cap it at the just two? Those are honestly really great. I feel like J. Cole's Forest Hill album was the best album that he's ever done. It always will have a very special place in the lineup. And not that his new music isn't amazing. He's, everything right. is amazing. But that album always holds on a pedestal. Come on. I mean, that's, 
And that's it's funny though, because I remember his warm up album, and I really liked warm up because that was the introduction. I used to listen to that going to school. But Horace Hills, I think that was my tenth grade year, and I used to listen to that track on the way to school and just zone out. Like that was yeah. top tier, top tier for sure. Moving on to our next question, after we put you on the burner again for oh, your favorite songs these will hopefully be a little bit easier maybe not okay. who was your childhood celebrity crush who's the girl from you got served i don't know why can i remember her name it's an old movie but it's it find the name you served. if you're watching he had a crush on you he just can't remember your name <laughs> and that's probably <laughs> the worst that way of a crush. <laughs> that's terrible um i'm disappointed in myself wow disappointed um yeah, it's 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 her though. It's her though from it's from her. you guys. It's she her. was the main lead in, in in that one. Anyway, next question. Next question. <laughs> next question and our final question. So we talked about how you would want to take on the role of being a superhero. If you could have yeah. one superpower in real life, what would it be and why? I've always it's always been between teleportation. It used to be invisibility, but I feel like everybody's was invisibility. So I was like, it's- mine's invisibility. Mine's invisibility. <laughs> nosy. So I just feel like that would be so fun to just get to hear everything. But and, I'm and that's a really good ability. It's, it's a good ability. But it's like, would you rather invisibility or like for free if you wanted to go to Cabo or you were that's like, you wanted to go to the Bahamas? Is that what you're using? You okay. could teleport. <laughs> And then you could teleport other people with you. That'd be lit. That'd be lit. Right, that's I, true. I think, I think teleportation is the move. Yeah. I like it. So if you were a superhero, you wouldn't be using the power for good. It would more or less just be to take your spring break vacation and skip the skip the TSA pre-check and just on, go on right me. there. Exactly. If it, it, let's say you wanted to give a you know a birthday gift for your family, like oh okay, right. um, where you want to go? Let's go to Sri Lanka. I don't know. Yeah. You know this. Bam. We're there. <laughs> We're there. Well, we are so excited to see the incredible music that you put out and Arch Enemy coming out. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me and tell me all about your new film. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Bye-bye.